Central City Opera is getting ready for its summer festival and it's celebrating its 90th season. So joining me now to talk about that is Pamela Pantos, the president and CEO at Central City Opera. So Pamela, 90 years of world-class productions, uh, incredible. What inspired Central City to embrace opera back in 1932? It's an incredible story, actually. Back in 1878 is actually when the Opera House was built by Cornish and Welsh miners. Um, they were riding the gold rush and obviously those cultures have such a tradition of sung word. So when they were over here and they had made a little bit of money, they decided that they needed a, a performance venue. And so they went ahead and built this glorious Opera House that is almost 150 years old. And then Ann Evans in the 30s got together with some other philanthropists and decided to save this glorious building, which we are so grateful that they did. Um, as a matter of fact, they continued to, to save the town. And after that, um, you know, it's been years of patrons, philanthropists, donors, and board members committing to maintaining this historic building so that it is in the fabulous condition that we have it in today. Absolutely. That's some uh, rich history. It's just amazing to, to learn about that. Um, tell us, too, what do you have in store for audiences this summer? It's a fabulous program this summer. It's so wonderful to be back after a couple of dark years. Um, obviously, 2020, we were not in the Opera House itself. And last year, we were doing performances outside. However, this year we are back in the Opera House, which as we just mentioned, is really our home. And so that means a great deal, not only to all the performers and staff, but also to our patrons. So this summer, there are three different shows that we're doing. The first is Light in the Piazza, a Tony winning musical, very beautiful romantic piece that is set in Italy in the 1950s. So a little bit of La Bella Vita going on there. Um, a beautiful piece, lots of melodies. So if and it's also sung in, sung in English. So if someone's looking to just have a really wonderful day in Central City and you know experience something like that, it's really a wonderful piece, again, because it's in English. The other piece, Fledermaus, is actually an operetta set in Vienna. And that it will be sung in German, but have English dialogue. And that's a very funny story. Fledermaus means the bat. And so it's really all about a costume party. And the lead character comes dressed as a bat, hence the name. And so you have all these people that know each other, are intimately related to one another, and they all go to this costume party as different people. So you can imagine what ensues is really quite very, very, very funny. And then the third piece is To Remain. It is composed by Jake Heggie, who is probably the foremost living composer of opera in America. Central City Opera has done several of his pieces, and we are so fortunate that Jake will actually be here with us this summer. So that's very exciting to having a living composer with us. And the piece is based on two survivor stories of, from Auschwitz. And yes, these are very sad stories, but again, they are stories of hope. They are stories of survival, which I think in today's uh, situation that we find ourselves in is really quite appropriate. And so it is a very full season. What is your vision for the company? Um, first of all, to uphold everything that's already come before me. I mean, it's our non yet season. And so what an exciting moment in time. So working with artistic director, Pat Pierce, we are setting the next 10 years in stone for artistic development to take us to our centennial, which is incredible to be able to say you get to celebrate that. So that's very exciting. Um, the reason for my being here is I think that personally I was an opera singer and I've worked on the other side of the desk too as administrator. So I think that in combination with the incredible staff that's already here, um, working with Pat, John Burrill, our music director, um, and everyone together, I think what we're going to be doing is creating 10 years of excitement leading up to the 100th anniversary. So, you know, lots of exciting visioning going on right now. Absolutely. And you all make opera accessible to everyone. So what are some of the deals that people can take advantage of with this? You know, our tickets start at $32, which people sometimes don't realize. So you can have a full performance. And because it's such a small theater, it only seats a little bit over 500 people. You are closer than you're ever going to be anywhere in terms of live theater. So that kind of intimate experience, you won't get anywhere else. So, I mean, I think that for $32, right? <laughs> it's hard to get a good meal for that, is wonderful. We also have uh, other programs, for example, ex example, pardon me, lunch and a song, which you get a buffet lunch and you get to hear a recital of one of our artists for $30. 
you know, if you're just going to Central City for the day and you say, let's have a little excursion, let's have something fun, let's do lunch and a little bit of music, that's also a great deal. The other thing that people should realize is we have lots of free programs going on throughout the year. We do perform throughout the year in Colorado and, you know, the greater area. And our education and outreach team does a fabulous job of presenting lots of accessible pieces for adults and for children and families that are often free or have a minimal charge. So there is a lot at Central City, both up during the festival season, but throughout the year to enjoy. And I can announce that this winter we'll be doing a piece that is very beloved, Amal in the Night Visitors. And those tickets will be appropriately priced so that families can, an entire family can go and enjoy that experience around the holidays. Which is awesome. You guys offer just so much. It's really neat to see. Uh, thanks so much, Pamela, for sharing all this with us. We're really excited for you guys' the summer festival and just everything else ahead. We appreciate it. Mackenzie, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. And Central City Opera Summer Festival opens July 2nd and runs through the 31st. We have information about the season and a link for tickets at cbsdenver.com.